Okay, uh, good evening. Welcome to Pyramath number 1102. Pyramath 1102. So, um, this is a problem uh, Katrina Scherer posed this morning that I thought looked really interesting. Uh, and you worked on it for a while and it gave you a lot of trouble. Uh, so I want to, instead of talking about the solution, uh, I wanted you to talk about some of the things you thought and then what where, where some of the stumbling blocks were. Uh, well, first I thought to... Uh, first the problem is the three green rectangles. This one, this one, this one here. Yeah, they didn't really print green on our printer, did they? No. That's um, alright. They're congruent and uh -huh. the fraction of a square do they cover. Alright. Um, so. At first I tried, oh, I was going to label the side lengths, A and B. Okay. Um, and that these had an area of A, B, um, and the whole area was um, A squared. Yep, that's right. Um, and what I wanted to try to do was um, prove that this middle rectangle or find out if it was congruent to the other rectangles. Um, because that would make this side, whole side length, 3B. So the total area would be 3AB. That meant I could maybe find this length here in terms of A or B. And, okay. And then find and find a, a fraction like that because it would be difficult to just put the area in terms of A. I think maybe putting it in terms of A B would make it easier to get a fraction. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, but originally you said what was the area of this square? Um, a squared. Okay. But do you think maybe breaking it up into A and B? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I guess also from there you could get A in terms of B as well. Yeah, you could. All right. So what gave you trouble? Um. Well, I. Well, the part finding this length as B, I can figure out how to do that, or if it was even the case. It looks a lot like it. Um. With these four triangles looking really similar. Uh huh. Um, if they were congruent, that would make uh, all of these sides be. And from there, then you have, and you can probably find the side lengths of, of the triangles, and then get the unshaded area. Yeah, okay. Well, I, you definitely are on the right track on how, how to solve it. Like, figuring out whether this white rectangle is the same as the other three rectangles. Yeah, that's a really important, that's a really important step in solving this problem, I, I think, anyway. Um, what did you try to do, or did you, were you just mm -hmm. weren't even sure where to start? I tried looking, I called this length C, and um, got this length as a pretty messy number. Oh, With yeah. the Pythagorean theorem, that didn't really help at all. Okay. Um, because you have this as this is, if this is C, this is A minus C. Right. Yeah. So that's the only way to sort of compare side lengths between these two triangles. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Twitter thread now, like we've done in the past, and see if um, if there's any solutions that kind of illuminate uh, what might be going on. Okay.